Coruscant's multi-layered city contained 5,127 levels, with the highest housing the richest beings of the planet, while the lowest housed the poorest. The absolute lowest level that was habitable and accessible to the public was level 5, with the first four levels beneath it being abandoned, and they were likely forbidden for the public to enter during the Galactic Empire's reign, possibly to discourage those in discovering the ancient secrets that were contained there. One of these ancient secrets was actually discovered by a young teenage Princess Leia and her friend Holdo, both of whom were at the time junior legislators in training for the Imperial Senate for their respective planets. During one of their days off, Leia helped teach Holdo how to fly an airspeeder within Coruscant's chaotic city lanes. During the flying lesson, Holdo kept asking Leia about the ground level and how far it was from where they were. Leia answered it was 5,127 levels below them, but the furthest one anyone could get to was level 5. This sparked Holdo's curiosity on what was really at the very bottom. Eventually, after taking practice lessons on the airspeeder and finally learning how to fly one, Holdo took the wheel to the actual city lanes with Leia on board. Holdo flew like a maniac, with Leia holding on for dear life throughout the wild ride. During the flight, Holdo kept flying down toward the lower city levels, eventually confessing to a bamboozled Leia that she was attempting to reach level 4, because she read about some ancient temple called the Lost Museum, supposedly existing down there. The two of them eventually made it to the lower levels and began to explore the underworld on foot. After some time, they came across a carnival and were drawn to a mysterious tent. Also, fun fact, the guy leaving the tent with his kid is actually Sleaze Bagano, the same guy Obi-Wan mind-tricked in Attack of the Clones, telling the drug dealer to go home and rethink his life. And it appears rethink his life he did, for the better. Anyway, Leia and Holdo entered the tent which contained a circus act inside. They finally made their way toward a psychic within the area, who likely felt Leia's force sensitivity when she asked the princess to place her hands on her orb. Likely with the force at work, Leia's hands began to glow in response to the orb's power. The psychic explained that what they sought will be found through the guidance of the glow in her hands. This ended up being true, as whenever Leia moved toward the direction of the Lost Museum hidden in level 4, her hands began to glow brighter and brighter. Now back in the airspeeder, Leia and Holdo continued down toward the lower levels until finally they were able to make themselves into the forbidden level 4 by entering and flying through old pipes as passages to bypass the restricted areas. As they continued on flying, they came across a small crime gang hideout. After a short chase and eventually losing their pursuers, Leia and Holdo were finally able to discover the ancient structure known as the Lost Museum. The Lost Museum contained ancient statues of humans and animals that were likely native to Coruscant prior to the construction of all the cities. Seeing how Holdo described the beauty as a connection to their past, it's very possible that this is a confirmation that humans were the native species of Coruscant, an idea that's generally accepted but has yet to be officially fully confirmed. If true, the statues likely showcased what humans of Coruscant were like before all the advancements in technology and the burial of the natural grounds under the metal cities. Glowing plants were also scattered across the statues as they lit up the place, and it's possible they were native to Coruscant as well. Following their exploration of the Lost Museum, Leia and Holdo were able to safely return to the upper levels. It's currently unknown if they ever mentioned their discovery to anyone, or the fate of the Lost Museum following its discovery. Thanks for watching this video. Help support the channel by becoming a member on our Patreon page, and be sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. And as always, may the Force be with you.